Did you watch the Netflix series on Madam C.J. Walker called Self Made? Did it leave you wondering what was truth and what was fiction? Well, I'm hoping to clear up a lot of that for you and even let you in on a few things that the Netflix series did not cover. Stay tuned for part one in this video series called Three Things You Probably Didn't Know About Madam C.J. Walker. Fact number one, Madam C.J. Walker, who for the duration of this video we will call Sarah Breedlove because that was her name before she became the hair business mogul that we all know about. Well, she was the first of all of her siblings to be born free, as in out of slavery. When she was born, she had four older siblings, three brothers and one sister who were born into slavery. And Sarah Breedlove was born almost five years exactly after the Emancipation Proclamation. Then her parents would give birth to one more child who was born free, and that would be her younger brother, Solomon. Fact number two, as briefly mentioned in the Netflix series, all of Sarah Breedlove's brothers were barbers. Do you recall the scene when she told Lilia, all your uncles were barbers? Well, that was true. It was also certainly something that Lilia would have known by that age when Sarah Breedlove and her daughter Lilia arrived in St. Louis. She would have spent little time living with her brothers when she got on her feet and Lilia would have been old enough to remember that and what they did. So at that point in their lives, Lilia definitely would not have needed reminding of what her uncles did for a living. But the fact here is, yes, they were barbers, but they were not just earning hourly wages as barbershop employees. They were actually self-employed and owned their own barbershop, which is described as the family business in the book On Her Own Ground, The Life and Times of Madam C.J. Walker. That is the biography of Madam C.J. Walker that was written by her great-granddaughter, Alilia Bundles, and it was also the book on which Netflix based their four-part series albeit very loosely in some parts. At this time, in the late 1880s, black barbers were the largest group of black entrepreneurs in St. Louis. They were certainly not filthy rich, but they were better off than the other black men of that time who were most likely laborers, servants, teamsters, messengers, and porters. A fair amount of success was a thing that was common for black barbers in many large cities in the USA. It wasn't uncommon for a black barber to have white male clients. But by the late 1880s, early 1890s, the beginning of the end of the successful black entrepreneur barbers was taking place because of two factors. One, a racist backlash against the black barbers. And two, the invention and sale of King Gillette's safety razor. Fact number three. Sarah Breedlove's daughter, Lilia, stood very close to six feet tall as an adult. So you can imagine that she must have been a tall young girl, which brings us to the fact in fact number three. Lilia's height helped her get enrolled in school early. When Sarah Breedlove first arrived in St. Louis and was just getting to work as a washerwoman, the St. Paul AME Church helped her and Lilia out a lot back when churches were doing what they were supposed to do for their congregations, things like helping widows, but that's a video for another time. I digress. The church ran an orphan's home. Though Lilia wasn't an orphan because her mother was living, the church extended the offer to Sarah Breedlove to allow her daughter to live at the orphan's home a few days out of the week every week just to give the young single widowed mother a break. Well, the children at the home who were old enough were enrolled at the local school, Dessalines Elementary School, which had just been renamed shortly before Lilia started attending. Now this is just a freebie fact that I'm throwing in. The black parents of this time placed a very high value on education. And while they were grateful that their children were being educated, they also wanted a say in how that education would go. So they went to the school board 
to demand black teachers for their black students. They also insisted on renaming the school, which was first merely called Colored School No. 2, but they changed it to Dessalines Elementary School, which was named in honor of the General Jean-Jacques Dessalines, who was a leader of the Haitian Revolution and the first black ruler of an independent Haiti back in 1805. And that's a fact from Ty Said what Ty Said, not Alilia Bundles and certainly not Netflix. So anyway, Lilia was taken with the other school aged children and enrolled into the school. Because of her height, the school administration thought that she was six years old and enrolled her into the first grade. She was actually only four years old at the time. Well, those are the three facts for this video. Stay tuned for video number two in this series called Three Things You Probably Didn't Know About Madam C.J. Walker. Among the three topics I will tell you about in the next video is her second marriage, which was briefly portrayed on the screen in the Netflix series. Not her marriage to Charles Walker, which we will discuss later in this series, but her second marriage, which was briefly shown before the Addie Monroe character came into the picture. I'll tell you how tumultuous that marriage was and why it ended, as well as a couple of other facts. In the meantime, if you have any comments on anything in this video, please comment below. Or if you have any questions about something that you saw in the Netflix series and you want to know, was that real or was it not? Leave that in the comments too. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button, leave a comment and so we can get a discussion going and share this video on all of your social media, especially your Facebook. That really, really helps me out. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so that every time I post a video or I'm going on a live stream, you'll know. Thank you so much for watching Ty Said What Ty Said here on YouTube. Have a great one.